Virgo, this is your forecast for the month of July 2017. This is a general reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, or Virgo Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. You can watch your reading in three different ways. The full extended monthly, or for just the energy influence, watch the brief. Or in addition to the brief, watch the weekly for the upcoming week. Weeklies also make it easy for you to review information you may have forgotten in the full reading. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com and I invite you to follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. Please also check out my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash on demand slash finding love for monthly love readings. Now, the second week, you either this is, you know, again, about some type of settlement issue, especially if last week you were dealing with some legal issues, or this is some frustration on your part, maybe with your health or finances or having to take up uh, the financial responsibilities of others. Uh, this is about being irritable, being stressed. And for some of you, there could be issues connected to the heart, literally, if this is an illness, maybe, you know, some heart disease or a need for surgery. Uh, but this is probably more more than anything else, some kind of emotional disturbance, some kind of uh, perhaps a separation or some kind of rejection. Uh, it could even be some third party situation, somebody interfering negatively. This is going to be a week because of that frustra frustration. You're going to get grounded and get on better terms with yourself to change the way you're looking at something. There could be something that's, you know, challenging to you and, and keeping it and making it difficult for you to be rational. And it may be stressing out uh, your routine in some way. You may have to change your agenda. It could be that you we're trying to maybe perhaps negotiate some kind of loan, some kind of business opportunity. And this is the week where those negotiations break down. And whatever happens, you get this strong reality check. For some of you, maybe you were anticipating this, this bit of bad news or something that didn't go your way. And so now you're just relieved that it's all over with, it's done, and you can move on to something else. Uh, but if you weren't expecting it, if it came out of left field, you're going to be particularly disappointed with the outcome or with the person, and it's going to be challenging for you. It could be that there's some kind of, again, a breakdown in communication, a last minute cancellation, or something that is emotionally upsetting. Now, this may have to do with something from the past, some memory, uh, something that's something from the past that's currently influencing your present. Uh, maybe you're having difficulty moving on from a situation. It could be that you yourself are sabotaging your situation in some way or you're having your own personal pity party because of what has happened. But in reality, this card is saying you should be looking at how you may have been wasting your time, your talent, your energy. Were you putting those resources in the appropriate places? Were you directing your energy constructively or were you repeatedly trying to come up with shortcuts that ended up leaving you with the short end of the stick? So it could be that something that you believed in or a person or a situation or even your own abilities. Maybe you overestimated in some way and this overestimation has led to a disappointment of some sort. 